Okay, we got one. Now, we're gonna need to turn this on. And we're going to need to import, hopefully not too much here, uh, alloys for export. Let's get rid of that. So we'll put the alloy here. And then we will put the, um, what do we need? Coal and ore. Ore here. And coal here. Now coal we import. Let's manage our, manage our expectations. Coal is cheap. Ore is almost as cheap. Alloy is expensive. All right, so hopefully that will all work out. And then we can get this puppy running. Uh, everyone wants to come work here, so let's upgrade these roads. Probably should upgrade this too. We're just going hog wild here. I'm gonna have to let this run and get some more money going. Uh, sewage outflow pipe needs a little help. That makes sense to me. Given that we just added a big old honker here. Okay, now we're okay. We're okay for now. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on it though, because we could run. See, we're running out of power now. Thirty-six deficit. That adds fifteen. So we need three of these. We are running out of money just as quick as can be. Still a 24 set deficit. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, six deficit. And that's staying put like that. So we need more. We'll save up some more money and then we'll get we'll get rid of this. Cannot draw through place buildings, I'm sure. Okay, now we should be in the green. Yeah, we've got a small excess. Well, we're in the yellow. Okay, water's still okay. Sewage has recovered. Although, frankly, and I can't afford it, we could put another one on there. We will when we can afford it. We got a little bit of core and a cut <laughs> core, coal and ore. Closed needs power. Well, give him the coal. Guys, it's sitting right there. Need power. Give me a break. I gotta build a power plant. 20,000. How do I do that, or do I add this? See, this is asking for more sewage, even though it's closed. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me. If it's gonna be closed, we could just close it down and wait for more money to come in. Then we don't have to expand this. Nor will we have to expand this. Right. There. See. So let's save up some money. Yeah, you know, all these people who got a job here now have to go home. We got a lot of unemployed. This city's gonna have a few problems, but it's gonna make us some money, too, and it's gonna gonna pay for our processor city which will be next and that's gonna pay for the next two cities so there's a plan it'll turn out look everyone's educated at least we got zero crimes per day we only have one death per day we have no burnings build down per day buildings burn down per day uh, it seems as though we're not picking up all of the garbage cans I'm guessing there are some abandoned buildings out there this guy burned down must have been yesterday and so did that one, and so did that one. Okay, that's okay. We can deal. We're making 14k an hour right now. So I think what we'll do is we'll build um, a power plant here. Are any of these... That's a parklet. That's a, that's a factory. That's a factory. We'll put the power plant right here. In fact, maybe we could do that right now. 
just go ahead and get it done. And how much do these cost? 27. Okay, first let's turn that on. And then let's go ahead and build one of these, just because we're trying to be friendly. Okay, and once that's going, we'll bulldoze this. Then we'll have plenty of power for here. And everything should cascade from there. Powering city. Excellent. Shut you down. And see you later. Look, there goes a homeless person. How many of those do we have? Two! Alright, well, we gotta create more jobs. Um, one way we can do that is to turn on this. Another way we can do that is to turn on this. And another way we could do that is add some more industrial. But, I'm gonna let this do the job for now. Okay, we're gonna need more sewage. Go slow. Why is this... Who's this guy? Returning to the wind power plant. Service truck. Yeah, no you're not. I hate to tell you this, but the wind power plant doesn't exist anymore. Okay, how are we doing here? We're importing... Coal and ore. That's going to cost some money. But look, we're beginning to make alloy. That's exciting. Okay, so the quickest way we can help this make us money is by increasing the production. Not enough simoleons for that last one. How much do these cost? 36. Oh, we're almost there. Boom. Okay, I don't know if we need more trucks there or not. Uh, I do know we need to upgrade this road. And we're down to $700. Okay, looking better now. Let's take a look at the old trade map. We got 30 tons of coal, 30 tons of ore, and we're making alloy. There goes the alloy. No, we got trucks servicing this thing. Are there any ships servicing this thing? I'm starting to think Azure Alliance is just laughing at me every time I build these ship things. I'm going to let the city run for a little bit and keep an eye out for boats. And I'll uh, get back with you when I have an update. Not there, right here. Now, I did turn this off. <laughs> Not the trade port, but the, um, the boat deal. And it hasn't hurt me one bit. So Azure, you got some explaining to do because all my stuff's getting delivered to here from trucks from the region. Despite the fact that I got a janky little road here. And it's all leaving via truck, too. Is this a bugged map? Or are rail and water ports just bull honky? I'm tempted to think it's the latter. Okay, we're gonna put this... Hmm. We might only ever fit two here. But maybe that would be okay. Let's cram it this way as far as we can. And we'll get rid of this right away. Because we don't have anywhere to put metal, even if we did make it. And we'll put some alloy furnaces down. Uh, I can't put that one there because of the water. See, maybe I should have deleted that. But I'm willing to give it a chance. We'll leave it there just in case we need it now with two of these going full strength. And I'm wondering even if we want to put one here as well. Extend 
extend out to that side. Let's give it a try. Um, we're going to have to add sewage. And we're going to have to add um, water. And we're going to have to add power, I am sure. But I think we can handle it. Our one smeltery is making a lot of money. And we're still doing well with our hourly rate. So let's give this a try and just see how it goes. Um, probably just go ahead and expand this fully right away. And we'll see if it can handle it. I'll put that there. Okay, and then... Uh, this, only one of these pumps is on. So we'll just keep an eye on it. I know we're going to need more power. So let's come up here to the old power plant. And yeah, we're running at a deficit here. So that's... That's bad for business. Let's put another one there. Okay, 97 excess. That's pretty good. Maybe we won't have to add another one. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's run through our maps here. Power, like we said, is doing okay-ish in the green. Okay, water, we're in the yellow. We're in the negative yellow. Let's turn on a pump. See what that does. Crank up time here. Oh, all this working's making me thirsty. All right, so 100 kilogallons an hour excess. That's not bad. Producing ally, producing ally. No raw ore. Yeah, well. We got some here. Maybe we should add a second truck here. So we can make sure we can get the ore and the coal to these places effectively. Um, but we never did add a delivery truck here. This never filled up with alloy, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, they're waiting on ore, they're waiting on ore, they're waiting on coal and ore. And we got a bunch here. So we just need to give them a moment to get their stuff together. And we should be up and running soon. This one's running. This one's got coal. So we need ore here and we need both here. There's ore. Can you drop that off here? We don't need more there. We need here. Local deliveries are on. Local deliveries are on. Let's go, guys. Power plant's doing fine, though. Maybe if I watch it, it won't go very well. We definitely have traffic issues, but I think it's okay. I don't want to push it really beyond 50,000 people here. Speaking of which, though, how are we doing job-wise? Oh, we finally, we have too many jobs, which means our homeless should decrease, I think. We've got four right now. It's not terrible. There's no parks anywhere. There's no church. We should probably fix that. Maybe that's our problem. We've got electric. We've got water. We've got sewer. Trash is keeping up. And that is not getting overwhelmed. That's good. Uh, fire in the city. Okay, well, go... Go take care of it. Oh, speaking of fire in the city. I was thinking we should probably add a fire marshal. Uh, we could add that there. Okay. So, he or she can go around and decrease the likelihood of whatever, whatever happening. Okay, germs. Let's add another wellness fan. Because why not? Um, they taught 1,600 people yesterday. But they're not asking for us to expand, so that's good. Cops are staying on top of things. There's only one criminal at large. We're educated. Okay. Let's check the bulldozer tour. Do we see a tool? Do we see any abandoned buildings? We see one here. There's a homeless guy living in that one. That one's empty. And there's a homeless guy living in this one. If I was a homeless guy, I would want there to be an empty house somewhere. Maybe on the end of the street. Listen, I'm sure these people are not, like, ultra thrilled about it. We need work now. Dude, you'll be okay. You see how many jobs there are? Go get one of those. Okay, you just you turn left out your driveway. I guess that's a right for you. And you go up here, and you work at the hospital, or you work at the sewage treatment facility, or you work in one of these factories. Look at this factory. You work there. Okay. Um, lots of places to work. Or you could work in one of these. 
Uh, okay, they're producing alloy. They've got plenty of coal and enough ore. They're running low on ore. Hopefully they get some more soon. They have no ore. But this place is full of ore. Need more delivery trucks? Three would be one per... How much do these cost to run? 50 an hour? I was going to say three would be one per... Um, smeltery. But six is one per smeltery per ingredient. And I don't think they'll divide it up that way. But it's nice to think that maybe they would. Should I put a church right here? I like that idea. We'll just go to the old camera here. Because, of course... Of course that. Okay. Love that the churches are free. Right there. Dude, you live right next to the church. What do you think of that? I think that's pretty cool. Maybe we should make this a medium wealth area. I'm getting a little too cute here. Maybe I'm getting bored with this town. I don't know. Sports. Tennis court. Basketball court. Is it tennis court? Wow, it fits there really nicely. Tennis court? Okay, basketball court. Volleyball court. Cannot plop over a building on fire. Well, I should hope not. Okay, are you guys medium wealth yet? How about some nature? AV path part, 40 per hour. Pond, 20 per hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're wealthing up a little bit here. Why is this so big? It's on a dirt road. This is going to be too much commercial, I think. Not enough value. That's okay. Does the church actually increase land value? I don't think it does. We love the new city buildings. Well, like the park way up here? What do you do? Do you climb for real? You love the new city buildings. Even though they're up here. What do you do? You go visit the Nordograph household? <laughs> yeah, that would be quite a climb. Okay, um, we've ignored this for a while. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, we got ore. We got stuff. Okay, that's good. Do we need to snake a couple of streets through here? I wonder if we could. That's a good question. Let's get in nice and tight here and see about that. Oh, we totally can. I don't see any reason why not to make this a beautiful little road. It doesn't like it there. That's okay. There we go. Oh, what a beautiful little road. Let's upgrade it. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, and what's this? This could be high density too. Why wouldn't it be? We gotta get this stuff delivered. That's already high. Speaking of deliveries, how are we doing here? We're running low on uh, ore, actually. Maybe it's time to turn this on and see if it can do any good for us. $400 an hour, but if it can keep us flush with ore, I'll be pretty happy. Power's fine, water's fine, sewage looks fine. And it is. Trash, we're picking everything up except for abandoned buildings, no fires. Fewer to even extinguish, too. I think that fire marshal is doing a good job. 
Um, zero deaths per day. I'm not going to worry about those other numbers too much. Zero crimes committed per day. And lots of education. So, uh, let's see if there are any rubble. No. A few abandoned buildings. Like this one. We need to replace that. Um, and that. This has got a home. This is a store. The homeless guy. Eventually, this is going to turn into rubble. What's going on with the ditch here? The road's a little too elevated. Um. Oh, look, no one's in it anymore. I wonder if that homeless person left or if they got a job and bought a home or what exactly happened. I don't mean to imply that all homeless people don't have jobs. Absolutely not. I'm just talking about SimCity. Um, I know they can leave town via buses, like some of the buggy stuff in the game allows. And I know that they like to live in parks or abandoned buildings. We don't really have too many parks. Oh, but we did just build some. What if they're living here? Public court. Pond. Volleyball court. Pond. Yeah, these are some nice houses here. Jolton Java. Ooh, I want a coffee right now. Oh, I'm drinking a sparkling water. I kind of want a coffee. Uh, let's see what the yellow is down here. It's the problem is here. Out of resources. This place is out of ore. Oh, look, a boat. What did you just do? Um, pause. Zoom. I want to find out what just happened here. Why can't I click on you? One. Leaving the city. Came from the cargo ship dock. Where are you going? What'd you do there? Can you bring some ore? Look, there's some ore. It's getting dropped off by this truck here. All right, I'm gonna watch the uh, trade situation here for a little while. Watch the coal and the ore and the alloy. And see if it's all just getting stopped up on the highway and if the boats are really actually doing anything or not. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, rejoin you when I'm ready to tell you what I have found. All right, here we've got a ship picking up alloy for the global market, it came from Lucas the Pie Guy. So, I guess it's working-ish. Leaving the city. Okay, so... He bought alloy, but he didn't bring any ore. We're having real trouble keeping ore here. I'm wondering if we can plunk a little depot here. It's a terrible spot for it. But it's kind of cute. Okay, get rid of this. And we'll add ore. And we'll import it. And how much can this hold? 20 tons. As opposed to 100 tons over there. So let's just see if this can help. Orange is ore. So now we have 10 here. And all the places have it. Except for this one furnace. They gotta hire. At any rate, I think we've built a fairly successful alloy town. We're up to $2.7 million, despite the fact that we started with nothing more than all of the unlocks that we had going. And things tend to be going um, pretty well. We need workers. How bad is it? Eh, that's not so bad. We could up a couple of these densities, but I think the city's 
pretty self-sustaining. I've been letting it run quite a bit, and uh, a building goes abandoned every once in a while, and that's about it. Um, so we're going to bankroll here uh, for a bit, and then we're going to use the money here to start our processor town next time. And uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later in the basement. We wanted to just take a quick second and say thank you to all of our patrons and members and subscribers over on Twitch. You guys are really making a big difference because while the basement is a place that we just want to be able to have fun and make great content, more importantly, it's about helping people have a sense of connection and a safe, awesome, friendly place to go when they're hanging out on the internet. Your commitments make it possible for us to expand the reach of The Basement through all the different channels and all the different content that we're making. Thank you for helping The Basement be the friendliest place in the universe. In The Basement.